<clears throat> Monster. What's he doing? What's he doing? Where is he? Oh, he's right on the pole. He's right on that pole. Oh, he's on the other side of the pole. He's huge. No, 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 no. Here's a quick boating tip. There's a green marker over there. I've got a red marker over there and I'm heading towards the sea. Now, there's an old saying, my dad told me this, that it, it goes, there's no port left in the bottle, which means when you're coming in from the ocean, port, which is red marker, is on the left. So coming out, it's on the right. And today, I brought my little friend along going to give him a helping hand to make it to the ocean. All right, the end of the four knots, full noise from now on, guys. Everything about this place feels good. Anyway guys, I'm a bit of a, a one bone dog. Normally, but even my wife knows this is my other woman, Big Red. There's nothing she can do about it. Me and Big Red have one thing in common we both love fishing and going fast well that's two things now with a 112 pound minkator on the front she's the beast of beasts now the fish tide should have just turned and I'm going to fish all this rock walls as it starts to run Hopefully I'll get a school of brim coming down to meet me. So motto will be to fish quick, move quick, sorry, fish slow. signs of chew there but we didn't really want them on the jetties we want them on we'll go back to brow when that happens we want them on these walls under these trees big brim oh did i say under or over the trees it's only the first cast of the day that i do this It's because I've got the fever, because I know what's going to happen today. The goal is some crack and brim on hard bodies or anything along this wall and to bring home a feeder flathead. Oh, there was one straight away. I think that was my flathead, so I should get him. Hard body, but as soon as I put the plazzy on again, uh, see, they're holding it and spitting it. So I think I think it's just a tidal thing. I think they're going to go nuts in about half an hour. Little cracker then, so it's on. He hit the whole gulp. Oh, no, no. Ooh. Drop. 
do with the camera off, so with the camera running, so I just turn the camera off. And now I've landed this one. Oh, what a nice starting fish. I tried the hard body for a while, did no good. Went, I was missing them on a 1 0 hook, so I went to a size 1 hook. God, look at my mess. He's a slab. I went to a size 1 hook. Come here. Come here. And uh, that's my first spoon, eh? Look at him. What a brute. Come here. I could net him, but. That's a big fish. Ah. What am I doing? Just enjoy it, Aaron. Here's a bloody big Hawkesbury broom. Good on you, big red. There's a reason why I want to get this boat back on the water. Straight through the loop with an awesome hookup. Hey! Oh, handle rope. That's the fix that. One of the things about Big Red, she's got a live well, so I'm gonna see how many fish I can get in it. That's a cracker. I've dropped two like that, so I'm gonna have a good day. They haven't, we've got no wind. The tide's just starting to run now. Build. That's the pump out. That's the pump in. All right, let's get back into it. I literally just have one of these hooks. Now you see how the, the point up? Gam Gamagatsu make this one particular hook and the ratio, the success ratio on this with brim is phenomenal. And then all the other, like I've used two other hooks and just kept missing them. So one bite, one strike, one fish with this. See here, we're on a point. You see the water there is all glassy and smooth. Here it's got that ripple. We've got a current coming down. So it'll be hitting the back of these mangroves and these rocks here. So there should be like a brim o'clock just sitting on those rocks. Like just feeding off what comes coming down with the tide so it's just rolling under that mangrove there it could be just a stack of big brim sitting there it's perfect tide for it where are they Yeah, oh, I had him. Yeah, they're there. Didn't feel real big, but there's a school of them. On that corner, they could trigger. Ah, oh, that was a better one. Oh. You got me, got me good, that one. I just, before I try too much, I'll try a hard body on it. Having a shocking day uh, with hookups. There's definitely brim stacked up there though.
in close enough for this to tap rock. No. Next cast. Take my time. I'll get one more in there. And I'll go back to a plazy, but that did feel like a pretty good fish. That's the one. Yep. I had to tap those rocks. That's what I love about fishing. It's like it's not easy. It's it's a mind thing. Mentally, you're continually trying to work out how to, how do these fish outsmart you. But he's just a little school brim sitting on the corner. Nice. Nice little brim compared to the other one though, he's uh, pretty small. Come on. Still, what it does, if you ever open your mouth, there he is. It gives me a, a second pattern to work to. So now I've got the bite going with tapping the rock. I didn't get a hit until I tapped that rock. This so with 112 pounds, good. I can just sit on this current. Let's do it again. Too small. Come here, mate. Just inundated with little fish up here. It started off really good. Come on, man. Away. Still, I think these washboards, this is, we've gone off the walls and we're going to work all this structure out here. There's a few racks and things floating around here, so I'm going to give it a little bit of a run. Ah, oh, just speared myself. i got a feeling that there could be some nice fish on here. They disappeared off that wall really quick. Now these racks have the remnants of uh, washboards and the washboards are basically current flows. So it's a little bit deeper and there's a good wash always going through it so my favourite ones are over there so we'll get into them in a minute. That's the second little fish off that one like from the corner though so <clears throat> Monster! What's he doing? What's he doing? Where is he? Oh, he's right on the pole. He's right on that pole. Oh, he's on the other side of the pole. He's huge. No, 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 no. He's huge. Come on, get out. He's a monster. He's out the other side of this thing, so if I can get this around. Oh, where is he now? Where is he? He's, uh, oh, there he is. Oh. He's a monster. Come on, come on, come on. He's out. He's out. Oh. Come on, I gotta land you now. Little net for this one. Oh. Found it. Oh. oh, he's a monster. Whoa. What a brim. Oh my god. Look at that. Oh. He is huge. Corner jaw. Oh. 
I'm shaking. That was a five pound leader. <sighs> Where are you going? Let's just cut this. Oh wow, I'm shaking, shaking. This is a beast. Pretty new here. Retired. I'm still shaking. I am still shaking. I wanted to try and get a little bit of everything in today, like rock walls, oyster racks, washboards, moored boats, jetties. And I just didn't have enough uh, battery life to do all that. So once I got a good fish on the rock walls, I pretty well didn't run the camera. Got here and my God, that thing. Just caught two little fish. I am shaking. He took me in and out of there. My God. Let's move on. Let's, let's go to our next spot. We've got washboards and trays. This is the formula you want for big brim. Any brim, but big brim. All the flat I've been catching so far have been tiny. Oh, yeah. I like that one. Well, that was the next thing on my list was to go get the feed of Flathead. He's only just, but we'll get in there. Yeah, he'll eat all right. Yeah, got a ruler there. I think that's got to be 36. Oh, you little shit. Come on, I always was going to let you go because you're not real big, but I do like my flathead. You're 42, we'll take him. My live well. So I've got two broom in there. Sort of the last things I've got to check on the boat. Live well's going well, but check these broom out. That's the little one. This one. <laughs> Just curiosity, what's that measure? Don't you fall. I'll just do the tip. He's thirty nine to the fork. And uh, about 43, 44 to the tip. Just hopping a blade across all these trays. I'm not across the trays, I'm hopping them along them. Surprising there's very little, apart from mud, in between these racks. You wouldn't think a blade. Oh, there was another one. I was about to rip it in for another cast. That's exactly what I'm looking for here. See that, the bubbles in the current line? Yep. Oh yeah, another big broom. Another big broom. No, 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 no. Got him out, got him out. He's still out. Oh no. Get out, get out, get out. Oh, oh you live for this stuff. Watch boards now. Oh. My God, my goodness. Oh, that's a washboard monster on a blade. We got one off a wall, one off a tray. Oh, let's get him around here. Man, what a day. Stuff to charters, I might go back to uh, 2025. I'm gonna go in tournaments, I think. Look at this. Oh, he's done it again. Honestly, I have to talk myself up on a day like this, because look. Oh. 
Look at the size. Man. Oh. Does this get any better than this? Oh. I even I even called that fish. I turned the camera on because I knew I could see that current line going around the washboard. Oh, what a crazy fight. Three master angler fish so far today. Well, and all three of them. Monsters. This is the smallest of them. Oh, oh my goodness. Go in there. Oh, I know you just got him in. He bent one of those back hooks out. I would normally change these trebles, but <laughs> I don't know. Oh, that was crazy, man. Sorry, guys, but the fisherman in me can't help but not talk myself up. Those brim, I've caught three trophy brim in exactly where I wanted to catch them. All three, I've called them. So that's unreal, plus the smaller keepers that I've caught. It's just been a really good day. master brim fishing tips but my tips work and the, they do catch some big brim anyway one of the things I wanted to do today I thought that was a swat sticker I was so disgusted I took it home I was gonna put it in the bin the oceans that way so we're gonna let it go here and karma for all find your way out mate Victim of the flood, by the look of it. I'll call Brim under that boat. Oh, okay. okay, I'll leave you alone. I thought I had a good spot. Straight away. <laughs> Had my share of big ones. I'm sure there'll be a good one in here. That was fun. It don't look like I'll be getting a feed of flathead today then. Have you caught a fish yet? You haven't? Do you want a bit of help? Pass me your hook. Pass me your hook. Pass the line. I let a bit of line out. You want to catch this one? Oh you ready? You better wind that line in. Wind. Wind, wind, wind. 
Oh, that's a big broom you're catching there. I got a net here, you want me to net it so you can get a photo? Don't bring it up, I'll bring it up to you. I'll get the net. That's a big fish you just caught. There you go. You want to get a photo of that? Can you hold it up for him? Just the bream. Come on, you can pick that up. You got to get him in the photo. Okay, you. Mate, hey. Do you mean to get back here? Nah, just let him go. You don't want it. What did you use to catch it? Lures. I got one. I got two bigger than that in the well. I, I got one. Hold on, I'll show you. Uh, I got one on a blade, one on a soft plastic, and uh, I got them on everything, but uh, got a, a nice one on a blade, on a diver as well. Oh, look at that. Wow, all right. Yeah. yeah let these go. Yeah, that's a big fish. 